Hey everyone, this is CNC Keith here. I wanted to show you a quick little trick on how to easily determine without having to open up any manuals or read anything about which one of these macros is being used which, with these corresponding BCP buttons. So if you're ever wondering, you know, hey, what macro is the park button running or the reset home or the M55 or this one or that one, one of the quick, easy ways is at the beginning of each one of these macros, uh, there's a bunch of comments in the file that tells you what it is and what it's supposed to do, et cetera. If you push these buttons, like you'll see the M55, the general generic ones are already set up this way. So if you push it, you get this message. It's letting you know that, hey, that button is linked to this m55.mac file and tells you where it can be found. And all you got to go do is if you want that button to do something else other than what it's you know programmed for, is you go edit that macro and you tell it what you want it to do. Easy peasy. Well, what about these other buttons? Maybe I want to change this one or that one or the park one, and I'm not sure which macro that it is using. What you can do is switch to single block, which is one line of G code at a time. And then I can hit the button and you see that what it does is rather than running the whole job, it stops on line one, because that's the definition of single block. And it will, the way this works is that it expects me to hit cycle start for every single line in the G code program. That's what single block does. I'm just happen to I'm just using the single block feature to stop this file from just running instantly so it will just appear and then disappear on the screen. And what that does is when I click this button, now it's very obvious that the set axis zero, a set axis zero button is using mfunk49. So if I wanted to change this functionality of what this button's doing, all I got to do is go edit mfunk49 or mfunction49. It's just a text file. Follow the macro programming guide and the VCP programming guide. Gives you detailed information on how to change the graphics and then edit this macro to do whatever you want. The point of this video is just to show you a quick, easy way to figure out what these default buttons are already assigned to. I'll just demo it again with this one. So if I hit that one, here you go. Mfunk50 is the set all zero button. I'm just going to hit escape. Let's do the park button. Park is set to M60, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see how this is really useful to put the control in the single block mode and hit a button. And then you get to see what it's actually going to do uh, before it just runs it all at once. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.